Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's video, we will listen to the message of Father James Blunt. This warning is really urgent, so please listen to the end of the video and don't skip any part. Please share this video so that the words of God can spread out all over the world. Now let's pray to our Lord. Almighty God, we come before you, recognizing your greatness and sovereignty. Hear our humble prayer, O Lord. Shower us with your boundless love and mercy. Guide us in our daily journey, granting us wisdom and strength. Forgive our trespasses and cleanse us from all wrongdoing. Help us walk in righteousness and live according to your will. Fill our hearts with compassion and kindness, that we may reflect your love to those around us. May our words and actions bring comfort and hope to those in need. In times of uncertainty, be our rock and fortress. Grant us courage and faith to face challenges, knowing that you are with us. We offer our gratitude for your blessings and seek your guidance in all things. May our lives be a testimony to your grace. In your holy name, we pray. Amen. In the prophetic message delivered by Father James Blunt, he shared insights and guidance specifically for Hungary. As a missionary of the International Flame of Love movement, which originated in Hungary, he emphasized the importance of the country's unique prayer as a defense against the attacks of the evil one. The Flame of Love movement takes its name from the saintly Hungarian woman, Bersabek Caroline Santo Kindelman, who received a powerful prayer for the protection of all and Hungary six decades ago. During his presentation, Father James highlighted the threats posed by evil forces to the nation, including the New World Order and the destructive intentions of Georgi Soros. However, he assured that God, Jesus, and the Virgin Mary stand ready to safeguard Hungary. With spiritual vision, the priest identified the presence of Satan hovering over Budapest, and boldly confronted the enemy with the cross of Jesus Christ. Father James shared that he has received assistance from the heavenly realm, particularly from Saint Padre Pio, a renowned exorcist who faced personal attacks from Satan during his life. Although Saint Pio couldn't physically visit Hungary, he sent his monk's cloak, a symbol of his spiritual authority, which was present with Father James throughout the event. To counter the demons of communism, the New World Order, violence, and the EU, Hungary is encouraged to utilize its own prayer known as the Prayer of Oneness with the Lord. This prayer, received from the Virgin Mary, possesses the power to blind Satan and bring victory to the nation. It should be recited at least four to five times a day, and is applicable to both Catholics and Protestants. Father James expressed his intention to share this prayer with the Prime Minister of Hungary, emphasizing its significance in these times of spiritual warfare. It sounds like this. My beloved Jesus. May our feet walk together. Let's collect together. May our hearts beat together. Let us sympathize. Let the thought of our minds be one. Let our ears listen to the silence together. Let's look into each other's eyes. And let our eyes melt. Let our lips beg together. To the Eternal Father for mercy. Amen. If we engage in prayer, the nation will experience profound happiness. Father James Blunt had a vision, even before this moment, regarding Hungary, which he now shared as a heavenly warning. In his vision, he witnessed an army that sought to attack Hungary. While this could be interpreted metaphorically as the evil forces threatening our country, praying the specific prayer he mentioned would ensure our nation's safety. Hungary is not in imminent danger, we can find reassurance by reading Psalm 91 verse 7, Though a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, no harm will come near you. During the presentation, 
Father James mentioned the concerning issue of children undergoing gender transformation, where little girls are turned into little boys and vice versa. While he acknowledged that he didn't know the specific situation in Hungary, he pointed out that such harmful actions were already prevalent in other places. Performing surgeries on children as a means of confusion is an act of evil, aiming to distort people's understanding. Adolescents face the greatest vulnerability to these surgeries due to drug and other addictions. As a Christian nation, we have a responsibility to protect our youth. He also highlighted the situation in America, where such practices are commonplace, attributing it to weakened Christianity. Father James encouraged us to observe America, including the White House and the President, emphasizing the need for stronger Christian faith. My beloved Jesus, may our feet walk together on the path of righteousness, guided by your divine light and grace. As Father James continued his message, he shared an inspiring story of an African teenager who received a powerful prayer to save fellow teenagers. This young individual courageously utilized the prayer to free a drug-addicted young man from the clutches of the demon of drugs. The prayer, which proclaims the saving power of the precious holy blood of Jesus Christ for us and the entire world, became a potent exorcist prayer that we are encouraged to incorporate into our spiritual practices. Hungary, in particular, has been bestowed with the gift of the prayer of unity with the Lord, recognizing the intense attacks it faces. God desires to transform Hungary into a nation of saints, for it is through the path of sanctity that true happiness is attained. Without this connection to the divine, people are left in a state of sadness and desolation, vulnerable to the threats posed by their personal demons and the external forces targeting Hungary. Therefore, let us unite in prayer and strive to make Hungary the happiest nation in the world. We are blessed that Cardinal Peter Erdo has given his permission and bestowed his blessing upon this prayer. His support and guidance provide us with the spiritual authority to embrace this prayer wholeheartedly. So, let every individual in Hungary join together, lifting their voices in prayer, seeking unity with the Lord and His divine protection. May our steps align with God's will. As we march forward, spreading love and light, standing firm against the forces of darkness, and embracing the joy of a nation united in faith. Together, as we walk this path of righteousness, let us become beacons of hope and be a testament to the transforming power of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you in prayer, seeking your presence and guidance. Fill our hearts with your love and grant us the strength to face the challenges that lie ahead. Lord, we surrender our worries and fears to you, trusting in your divine providence. Bless our nation, our leaders, and our families with peace, unity, and prosperity. Grant us wisdom and discernment to make righteous decisions and to walk in accordance with your will. May your grace and mercy abound in our lives, bringing healing, hope, and transformation. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching and God bless you.